Salt doesn't heat ice, it changes the physics of freezing. When salt hits ice, it dissolves into the thin liquid film on the surface and lowers water's freezing point, a colligative effect called freezing point depression. With a lower freezing point, existing ice melts to re-establish balance, even when air is below zero, do 4C. That's why brine is used to pre-treat roads before storms. It starts the melt and prevents bonding to the pavement. How it works. Dissolution. NaCl splits into Na- and Cl-, ions that interfere with ice crystal formation, so water must be colder to freeze. Colligative punch. More dissolved particles. Bigger freezing point drop. Salts that release more ions, like CaClR, work at lower temps than NaCl. Limits. Plain rock salt is weak below, about, my stain to 9 stand to 4. C for road surfaces. NaCl brine stops working near 2020. 1 to 4. C. Calcium and magnesium chlorides extend the range further. Why ice needs a wet start? Ice has an ultra thin quasi liquid layer. Salt dissolves there to create brine, which can coexist with ice at lower temperatures, pulling more ice into melt until equilibrium is reached. Trade offs and care chloride salts are cheap and effective but corrode metals and harm soils and waterways. Airports often use acetates, formates instead. Use sparingly and pre wet for efficiency. Mechanical removal plus brine reduces total salt use. Bottom line, salt melts ice by lowering the freezing point, turning solid ice into brine at temperatures where pure water would stay frozen.